In 1876, Thomas Edison filed a patent for a stencil pen. Now, the stencil pen was an electromagnetically driven needle that allowed you to transfer a stencil from one piece of stencil material to another, or from a piece of paper to a material that you were going to cut or otherwise alter. The tattoo machine hasn't changed that much since Thomas Edison invented the stencil pen. However, in 1976, Manfred Coors filed a patent for the rotary tattoo machine, except instead of using coils and a reciprocating action, it uses a rotating cam to generate the up and down movement of the needle. Rotary tattoo machines aren't as popular with tattoo artists as coil tattoo machines because they don't have quite the same amount of adjustability. The rotary tattoo machine is, however, much easier to build than a coil machine, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Of course, if I'm going to build my own rotary machine, I'm going to need a source of rotary motion. And for that, I'm using one of our micro gear motors. I've actually mounted the motor in one of these awesome robot zone motor enclosures and then 3D printed this armature that allows me to bolt the motor enclosure to one side and to screw a thumb screw into the side of the needle tube to keep it in place. I've 3D printed this little plastic disc that has a D-shaped hole in the center of it so that it will press fit onto the shaft of the motor. And this machine screw is gonna be what the eyelet of the needle bar sits on. Of course, I need a variable speed controller for the motor on my tattoo machine. I used one of our FNG one amp dual motor controllers. Now, I only need one of the two channels on this controller, but I like the simplicity of the interface on this board. To control it, I'm using a five volt SparkFun Pro Micro. The motor is powered at 12 volts, so I have a 12 volt supply running into the back side of this enclosure, and on the front, I have a couple connectors for a foot switch and the tattoo machine itself. I can adjust the speed of the motor by turning the potentiometer. I've basically written a very simple Arduino sketch that looks at the output of the potentiometer and then maps it to a PWM output to control the motor driver. Following in the footsteps of the great inventors, I decided to put some skin in the game and test the machine on myself. Now, do not do this at home unless you're willing to live with the consequences for the rest of your life because tattoos are permanent. Also, please, please, please never tattoo anybody else unless you are a trained tattoo artist. Once I'd settled on the design for my tattoo, I transferred it to a piece of stencil paper. The stencil paper allowed me to transfer that onto my skin and it gave me a blueprint to tattoo over. I set up my tattoo machine with disposable pre-sterilized tattoo needles, needle bars, and tubes. I also use small sterile packages of tattoo ink and disposable ink cups. All of this ensured that I had a clean workspace without having to run an autoclave. Once I had set the speed and the stroke length of the tattoo machine, it was time to get to work. I have to say, the machine itself performed admirably for a small DC motor and handful of 3D printed parts. The tattoo looks pretty good, all things considered. This was my first time ever giving myself a tattoo with a tattoo machine, and it looks pretty much like my other professionally done tattoos, except for the fact that some of the lines aren't straight and the line width isn't quite right because, like I said, this was my first time using one. What I like about this project is that I was able to build it using only a handful of SparkFun parts. Everything else comes from a hardware store or a 3D printer. The only thing that isn't readily available are the tattoo supplies themselves, things like needle bars and tubes and ink, but if you want to find that stuff, Google's your friend. Also, I've put the code, the 3D models, as well as the parts wish list on GitHub. The project's called Scratcher, and you can download all that stuff and build your own.